You hear his voice at the beginning of every one of our newscasts. And Doug Lund was a longtime anchor here, and he remains the voice of Kelloland. Today, Kelloland's Dan Centella had a chance to catch up with him to see how he's doing. Metro you might remember Doug Lund at the anchor desk, but today we found him relaxing at his home on the east side of Sioux Falls. As Kelloland TV celebrates its 70th anniversary, few people have impacted this legacy more than Lund. I remember one of the first stories I did when I first came on to Kello was to do uh, something of their uh, uh, 30th anniversary. 40 years later, at the age of 77, he has some challenges with mobility. I do have a, a walker that I kind of cling to for, for safety. But his voice is just as strong as ever. They've given me this uh, incredibly embarrassing title of Voice of Kelloland, but there it is. Yeah. And, uh, and I guess I am, and, I, and I'm really grateful for that, just to, be, just to continue to be a part of it. These days, thanks to technology, he creates audio recordings for Kelloland News from the comfort of his home. I'm just really tickled that, uh, that I'm able to do that here from home because, uh, uh, I, like I've said, I just can't think of any place I'd rather be involved than with Kelloland Television, which has been my life for so long. As that familiar smile and voice welcomed us this afternoon, gratitude was a dominant theme of the conversation. I don't say uh, slightly how much I am so lucky. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. We have a special web page dedicated to our 70th anniversary. You can check it out with this report on our website uh, to find a link to that page. Doug's good friend. Man, I miss you, Doug. I interviewed him once about Captain Eleven, and I loved my conversation with him. Yeah, yeah. I love hearing your voice every night, just like we used to when he was sitting right here. Yeah, <laughs> almost exactly where you're sitting right now. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Hey.